Why this home wasn't better protected is kind of beyond me. I mean, in light of the status of uh, he's married to, what, the second person in line for the presidency? Seems like Pelosi needs to reevaluate, um, and especially uh, her uh, uh, security, especially in a violent city of San Francisco. I've spent a lot of time up in San Francisco, and it is violent. It is imperative, also, that we don't make this a partisan issue. This happens to members of Congress, of all parties, Supreme Court, justices, and even um, people in my family. I mean, living in the celebrity world. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've received hundreds of death threats, publicly, privately, every day, all the time. And especially, <laughs> actually, after I joined Fox News, it only got worse. I mean, this is, uh, you kind of take it with the territory uh, of being an outspoken public figure. It is disgusting and it's wrong. Soft on crime liberals, uh, politicians running to actually defund the police, release violent criminals, and enforce and not enforce our laws when it comes to the criminal justice system, is uh, they're also making law enforcement the enemy of the people. And, and this has to stop. We have a election coming up in a few days. We have to get these people out of office because the crime wave across America affects everyone. It affects the rich, the poor, the powerful, whatever. Everyday Americans are facing this, and we see it in all these different cities. Uh, this crime wave has uh, been happening for a long time, and uh, voters, honestly, they need to do the right thing when it comes up just a few, in just a few days. Another major takeaway is Biden. Truly, he has done nothing to tone down the rhetoric and unite this nation. Violence of our, in our nation is everywhere, and it's at record levels. This is truly, he's become kind of the divider-in-chief, and 